What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to price your video production. Real quick before we get into this, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do tips and tricks videos here, tutorials, vlogs, reviews, all of that great stuff like that, man. So if you're new here, subscribe. Also click that bell so you won't miss out on any future uploads. But let's just get straight into it. One of the main questions that I get all the time is, yo, how do you price your videos? How much do you charge for videos? How much should I charge for videos? And this is gonna range throughout pretty much all video production. This isn't just subjective to music videos. This can work with weddings, uh, short films, whatever. Whatever type of work you're doing, on the video production this is going to work for you as well and i'm not going to be telling you all how much i charge or how much you should charge i'm just going to give you all a few tips and things to take into consideration when you're pricing your video production projects the three main things that i take into consideration when pricing a project and the things that you also need to take into consideration when pricing a project are what you have to pay for your time and effort and also how much money you want to put into your pocket i'm going to break these down in depth but these are the three main things that you need to take into consideration when pricing a project things that you need to pay for is the first thing that we're going to get into and this is going to range from renting equipment to paying the crew to paying for a flight to get there to paying for a rental to get around to paying for a hotel etc so when I get an inquiry for a video project the first thing that I think about is the things that I'm gonna have to pay for so let's just say the client contacts you and they say they want a Lamborghini for the music video they want it shot out in Los Angeles they also want behind the scenes content they want it to be shot on the red they need a techno crane and they also need a drone and this is all hypothetically speaking of course but let's just talk about this so me personally I live in Virginia so the first thing that I'm thinking about is the travel my means to get from Virginia to Los Angeles has to be calculated into this equation so I'm gonna need a flight from Virginia to Los Angeles I'm also gonna need a hotel when I get there I'm gonna need a rental to get around Los Angeles when I get there and other minor expenses that may come with that so that right there is travel expenses I'm gonna have to reach out to a luxury rental car service to get the Lamborghini that's needed for the video so that's also gonna go into the budget of what I have to pay for the client needs behind-the-scenes content so I'm gonna have to either bring someone out with me I'm gonna to have to contact someone out in Los Angeles for behind the scenes content so I'm gonna also have to pay them I'm also gonna need a red and a techno crane so I have to account for the equipment rentals that I'm gonna need for the music video as well so this all sits in a section of what I have to pay for for the project next thing is my time and effort so say I've written out every single thing that we need to do in terms of the shoot location the shoot times and this is gonna extend over a course of four days I also have to write a script for the story that he wants to tell throughout the video also I have to account for the time that it's gonna take to shoot the video and I also have to account for the time that it's going to take to edit the video so this all sits in the category of my personal time and effort next thing is how much money do I want to put into my pocket so I sit and I think in depth about how much this project is actually going to cost me so first off I'm going to be shooting this video over a course of four days so I have to take that into deep consideration next this music video has a story script within it so it's probably going to take me a lot longer to edit this than just a simple one shoot location where it's just a bunch of performances going on and I'm also going to be away from family for four to five days I'm gonna to have to do a lot of traveling which is also annoying to me so so I'm also gonna add that into consideration when I'm pricing the project these are all things that I'm thinking about in depth when I put together the pricing for the music video so after I come to terms with myself about how much money I want to put into my pocket for shooting this extensive music video what I'll do is I'll pile on the other costs for the rentals of the equipment the rentals of the vehicle the rentals of the location the amount that I'll have to pay someone to come out and do behind the scenes content the amount that it's gonna cost me to get a flight from Virginia the amount that it's gonna cost me to get a hotel over the course of four days and I'll stack that on top of the price for the money that I want to personally put in my pocket and what this is gonna allow me to do is it's gonna allow me to get every single thing that I need for this video and also profit the amount of money that I want in the end when I first started out doing video production and music videos what I would do is I would just have one set price for all music videos and that was like one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of people and they have video packages and with these video packages they'll tell you how much time you get uh, they'll tell you how many locations you get and they'll tell you how many shots you get which is all cool in a sense this is kind of sort of categorizing the videos and the amount of work that you have to put in with them but what you also have to take into consideration is what could potentially need it to be rented for the video shoot. The artist might need a vehicle, the artist might need props, the artist might need a model, etc. So these are all things to take into consideration when you're doing pricing for your video production. And as I said, this isn't narrowed down to just music videos. This is the same as doing a wedding. If you're doing a wedding, you're gonna need smooth shots, so you might potentially need to rent a Ronin or a slider or a dolly, and you might need to pay someone else to come out and film with you as well. And then you have to account for the eight hours that you're gonna be filming all day. It's literally the exact same concept with every single form of video production. You shouldn't make the 
the mistake of having one set video price for every single thing that you do because video production ranges so widely. So how should you price your music videos and video production in general? Now I'm not gonna get into depth about how much I personally charge for music videos because none of that matters, honestly. I can't personally tell you how much you should charge for your video production. It's up to you for you to know how much you think your video production is worth and how much money you wanna put into your pocket at the end of the project. One of the biggest mistakes that I'll see people doing is they'll go in and they'll price their personal video production pricing off of someone else who might be a potential competitor of theirs, which makes no sense to me at all. It's no problem with being a higher end brand or a higher end option for video production in whatever city or state or region that you're in. Think about it like this. You have two shoe companies like Skechers and Jordans for instance, and Jordans are so widely overpriced, of course, but they sell and Skechers also sell. It's no reason for Jordan to lower its price to compete with Skechers when they're just in two different leagues. They do the same thing. They sell, they both sell sneakers, but at the end of the day, they're just two different brackets of video production. It's no problem with you wanting to have a higher price than someone else in your city. Don't fear that you won't get business because you will. Don't price your own video production off someone else's. It's up to you to know how much your video production quality is worth and how much money you wanna put in your pocket at the end of the day. That's not up to me. I can't tell you how much you should charge for video production. It's just too many variables that vary into how much you should charge. It's not even based off of raw skill anymore, which is kind of crazy. You might legit be better than someone else who shoots video production, but they might get paid more than you just because of social media power or the amount of high-end clients that they have. It's, it's just very so widely. So don't base your video pricing off of someone else. And once again, I just can't personally tell you how much you should charge. It's up to you to know how much your video production is worth and how much you think it's worth. And it's very important that you stand firm on the pricing that you want to get for your video production. I hope this helps, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop me a like, comment, also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Peace.